All right, we thank our Lord Jesus Christ. He's our God of strength and everything. I welcome you to this very short um, 25 to 30 minutes video, which is going to explain to you how to draw your support and resistance uh, lines. How to draw your support and resistance lines. And also, how to ensure that you are able to spot uh, the right entry and enter the market at the right point. I get to the point. And so when you enter the market, you don't really worry about what actually happens. You know when you enter and you also know when to exit. You set your stop loss and then you set your take profit. That is your exit point. I don't know. Every strategy requires an entry point and an exit point. And your exit point depends on your reward that you want to get. And your entry point actually uh, also depends on um, what you want to get from the market. Are you getting the point? All right. So as you can see on the screen, um, we are going to use these um, gold trade on your screen right now to do our analysis. All right. So um, I want to delete everything on the screen, take off every kind of uh, indicator on the screen so that we can start something nice over here uh it's very very important all right so right now as you can see on your screen um there is a sell trade actually placed here um no matter how it is you just have to be waiting you know the market moves up and down so you don't enter the market and feel that it should just go in your favor but if it's going in your favor you will be uh, closing some to be secure if it's still going up again you enter because you know the direction you are going i get the point. that is what makes it enjoyable all right so now let's look at how we mark these levels uh these levels here are very very important now to mark your support and resistance levels i mean how do you, what is support and what is resistance what is support and what is resistance support simply means that the price is falling and it has been stopped falling so at the point where it has been stopped falling that is and it goes back into the upper side that is what we call support so that that level or that point is what we call a support level so uh, when you look at this one the price was moving down it was moving down and then it got to a point here it actually started going up so as it started going up you can see that it's now in this particular domain I didn't know when. so obviously that is what we call support level so at this point this is what we call the support of this particular so the support level is this level the same way when you come here this particular point to is a support level this area you see it was going down and now it got rejected here and it started going up that's what we call the support level i get to the point the support level all right so what you are seeing on the screen right now if this candle closes in the upper side you know the 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 trend is already in the higher high and so that's why it's good to enter very early as well uh it's in a higher high and stuff like that so it's likely that it may not be able to go down there but you set your stop loss and then you just wait and see what the market will do for you i get my point and you'll take profit i get it yeah so i'll teach you how to set those things up all right so now uh if you are looking for a support level you know where you you look for it it's always at the base i get the point it's always at the base just as you saw here at the base here it's come here at the base here at the base here where 
the market was going down and then it got rejected and started going up so just like a bicycle you are riding a bicycle and you are falling you need to be supported so that you rise up so the price is falling it needs to be supported here and rise up so that's support and what about resistance just you know the answer already when it is rising up and got resisted uh, opposed then it is resisted in that direction so if what we are seeing over here the price actually reaches here and it does not continue but it got stopped and now it start going down then we call it this we call this place a resistance level and so how do we use this to trade it's, it's as simple as that and those levels are what we call the supply and demand so at the resistance level <clears throat> that is where supply takes place resistance level so when this place when it happens like then suppliers are going to come in and then uh, start supplying in the market i get my point but when it is at a support level then demand actually will increase as price will be increasing i get my point because it's a belief that now suppliers have sold for some time and they have sold too deep and the price has gone low so buyers will now be motivated to start buying at this point so when they start buying at this point which is becomes a support level so uh, price will start increasing as suppliers are not supplying anymore are you getting the point so that is what happens in the market and so when you are trading you get to understand just this simple thing so what causes supply and demand is the support and resistance levels I get the point. So supply and demand, the supply takes place at the resistance level and then demand also starts from the support level. Simple. So if you're able to identify a critical support level, you can enter the market quickly. So now when the market is moving, so now let's assume, let's look at it. The market is moving. So you have to go and look for how do you spot resistance and support levels to trade. Now you go back and find out the nearest area that the price has been going up maybe we want to look for a resistance level now looking for a resistance level so you want to go uh maybe scroll uh scroll to the left and find a close resistance level so that maybe the price can so we, we find that um price was going up here at this place it was going up okay let me just use the arrow for you to see so price was going up from here it got here it got here and it was resisted i get the point it got to this particular point and then it was resisted and you see the red candle coming down here so it's telling us that there can be a possible thing that will happen in the future if the price gets to that same level i get to the point and it truly did look at it oh my god what's happening to this so when the price was actually getting to this level you realize that price was also moving increasing from here to here and as it approached the same a similar level it got broken down at this level it got broken down at this same level so if i mark so if i should mark with my rectangle so you mark with your rectangle this is where the, the it has broken it has gotten the rejection so that level has become a, a, a resistance level for you so as the as the market is moving up from here see the green candles moving up to this level as it's approaching here you are seeing that it's going to so you must see a rejection so by the time it hits the level you see that there's a rejection that actually takes place there and it's telling you that you can go for a quick sell are you getting a point you can go for a quick sell and that is very very powerful for resistance levels and this resistance level uh, also is um likely to happen at uh, this particular point uh this particular point so this resistance level is still valid uh since it was respected over here it is still valid at this level see that when the price also got to this point 
it was so let, that's why we are watching this particular end if the price is able to respect this particular area that you are seeing where the price is it's in the zone right now and it's making a decision if this if this candle closes bullish then it's telling us that the sell here is invalidated and it is going to go up for some time because uh it is continuing the trend just like over here i get in the point so if we watch this bullish uh, this candle for me right now if it falls and if it forms in a bullish state then you should be expecting that it to go up in that direction so if you have if you are fast enough you should be uh, uh if you are fast enough and this maybe this there's a retracement down and covers your trade a bit you can close your trades and wait for the market to properly hit uh, the resistance level or continue so that you can continue with the trend all right so that's how it is in this particular case so the same way uh, you can draw this so this is a, a horizontal um, trend line resistance line that you are drawing now you can also connect different highs to be able to determine where the price is so for example you can come to the higher level here you connect the high over here to the highs over here and it's also telling you that okay possibly if the price is able to hit this level and come down then obviously it has respected this uh, trend line again so you're just connecting them and now if it is able now you come to the that, that is a resistance uh, tr trend line diagonal trend line so if it is uh, if you are looking for a horizontal sorry the base which is the support level you can also connect the lows on your chart so that you know that okay if the price is coming back if the price is coming back it's likely to respect that if it doesn't respect it then you continue because it means that it has broken if it is coming down um to this level as it's coming down you are watching if it breaks through you know that the the the, the price is actually the market is going to go down for some time so you can follow that particular trend because it has broken this support level are you getting the point aha uh -huh. So um, that is how it is. You can also draw the horizontal one here to actually show connecting different uh, support levels to be able to uh, do that. All right. Now, when you enter the market, you always set your stop loss and that's so how the market is going on. Now, with the bullish candle here, it's showing us and looking at the fact that the market is already uh, creating higher highs on the H1. Uh, uh, you can actually close your trade so that you'll be able to uh, minimize loss so you wouldn't be uh, entangled with uh, uh, so much loss i get in the point that is a trick that a trick because it's likely to break this particular trend line and focus on let's say the higher one here you focusing on the higher one here so it might break this one because it's already in a higher high i get to the point it's in a higher high uh -huh. so you can see what is happening on the screen right now uh -huh. so if your stop loss is somewhere here if the stop loss is here you know you always have a stop loss because this is where the resistance took place earlier so maybe you can decide to come back a bit um, get to that level and then drop it usually happens that is how the sentiment of the market is so you always set your stop loss right uh, uh, above that high over there and that is what actually gives you the edge so that when as the market is moving towards this level and uh, it's chasing this particular previous resistance you can it will not reach your your stop loss and it will drop in your favor and then from there it can drop in your favor so you can still be watching as it is going all right so this is support and resistance any way you want to do it just connecting the lows and the highs you can connect it anywhere as far as you have multiple connections to be able to uh, 
can connect from here to here and find out uh, whether there can be yes if you see the price going to other direction you can connect to find out whether something whether the price is uh, able to as agree with that particular so i can connect from here to through here i got you guys in the way can connect here this is a low this is a, a strong low here connect it to this particular one and then extend it if i get multiples to that will be fine and then extend it and see whether uh -huh. so i'll extend it so you can see something here now and we see something here now uh -huh. so that is what you are seeing it's just like a plane so the price will be chasing uh, that zone the price will be chasing that zone the price will be chasing that zone right now all right so that's how it is uh -huh. so for the for the stop loss you place it over here and i in this particular case it is going to take the stop loss because the market is in a strong uptrend and it will surely take the stop loss as i told you it will surely take the stop loss all right but let's see what the market will do all right so that is how you draw your trend lines and all that so right now if you want to set your stop loss now we we use top down analysis so as you come here and you see that the market is in an uptrend this one was a retracement move that we took over here based on the resistance right so this kind of trades you don't keep them you just uh, enter them for some time and then you see some pips for example the market moves some few pips you just close and then you gather that money somewhere but when it is going up for example when it hit this major trend line because you see that the market was making a higher high uh this is how the market moves you enter the market and you see that okay when the market is moving down and it began it begins it moves down to this level it created a support here and then got rejected so it moves here but when it was coming down it could not come down to come and break this one down again it stopped on the way so it has created what you call the higher high now this one is higher than this place so it's moving up then as it is going again it got rejected it moves up again uh -huh. and then it was from this level it was coming down uh fully again i get in the point as it was coming down fully again it could not also break through this previous one again it stopped here so that means that the market is what in a constant higher high i get in the point it's in a constant higher high and it's respecting the higher high so that is what makes the market in a higher high uh -huh. so when you take a trade in the fa in favor of this higher high at the point where you, you are seeing the trade, let's say, coming to this level, coming towards this direction, then what you must do is, as you see the trade, let's assume these red candles, as they are forming, at the time they are approaching this trend line, this major trend line here, you are watching whether they will come and respect, whether the candle here will form, it will form above, it will, the last candle will form above. So as it is coming, approaching here, you are also watching your M, 15 to see what is happening over there and when you watch the m15 you realize that something significant has taken place over there now you can see that uh, after the it crosses after it crosses here i see if this then a bullish a bullish candle actually form uh, at that particular level that's telling you that it's the likelihood of respecting this particular trend is very high so you can quickly enter for a buy because the, that particular trend level is strong and even you can spot that already even on the lower time frames uh -huh, before it happens on the lower time frames looking at the candle formation you, i ask you guys to read about the candlestick analysis so those of you who have read it you are ready to go you know you understand what morning star is 
Monista always shows a, a, a bully a bearish candle then a doji in in between a small one like this one then you see a bullish candle coming to take over that is telling that the market is reversing to the upside then we have the evening star that one is the opposite of morning star like you see that the bulls were in control then a, a doji in the middle and then a bearish candle comes in so that's how it is all right guys so that is the about this particular you can add the three moving averages i get in the point to the uh screen to also show you for example if i add a three moving averages i'll see this is the third one uh so if i add a three moving averages uh if you know how to add it go back to the previous video on using the platform and then you see how i added the three moving averages so you can change the period to um 10 now it should be uh exponential and then maybe the color to maybe violet in this case then you can decide to change make it bold uh -huh. so you realize that it is crossing to the upper side so the the strength to the upper side is higher than uh to the downside i guess it's crossing to the upper side um let's look at the third one already everything is showing that it's is is in a bullish state is the market is in the hands of the buyers right now um the market is in the hands of the buyers right now so um what you must do is that any trade which you have in the cell you should be ready to close them to minimize your loss if you want to you don't want a huge loss in that particular case yeah so that is how it is uh -huh. the everything here is showing that the market is in what is in a bullish condition now the three the moving average three has crossed the 10 and it's up all right so it's showing that obviously but there's a little retracement to the downside and then to start going up again so that is how it is so when you when you spot that that what we do what you do with the three time frames is that you go to h1 you see the general trend of the market so when you see the general trend of the market then you do what you come back and actually you come back to the m15 and spot an opportunity on that particular uh market you know the m15 will tell you okay oh the the rejection you are you are seeing the okay the market is approaching as a, a very strong support as i told you already support level here or resistance level that you have marked on the higher time frame but and then the rejection has already started already i get in the point now we can see that uh, there's a rejection which is actually taking place already on the m15 uh already here in the rejection zone i get in the point so it's likely that that rejection will be strong to draw the, the price downwards again so i get in the point so that's why i told you that look at where i place look at the horizontal line here where i place the stop loss so it couldn't reach there but there's a rejection taking so by that time it will now smash everything down so that's what we call patience in the market so when the price starts coming down it will come down in your favor so if this particular one closes downwards very well then obviously uh, you are expecting a, a bearish moment right now so you're expecting the price to go down that is how the market works guys <laughs> so you have to understand that very very well support and resistance you have to respect that because that is supply and demand i told you the market is always um supply and demand so if you know you understand supply and demand and you can mark the levels as i'm teaching right now very very easy just connecting areas that have been rejected for some time you connect more, maybe two or three of them it gives you a very strong signal or sign that yes that maybe the next one too might be possibly rejecting or if it doesn't reject then you know that it is going to smash towards the direction very strongly uh -huh. so that's how it is that is how it is so the moving averages too can help you find out whether the market is strongly in a bullish state or not uh, so in this particular market the best trade you should take should be um 
a, a buy trade I get that should be a buy trade though support and resistance can be uh, what control the market but then you can also use them as well now how do you calculate your pips I, I, I taught you these things already but then I want to just help you understand one or two things because if you are in the market you need to understand calculation of pips I get the question how to calculate your pips a pip is a a small the smallest change in the price so when the price moves from um from here let's say from 1777.977 to let's say um one to let's say let me just use another horizontal line to let's say um 1775 1775.998 so i get my point so if the price moves from that level to this level you can say that the price has moved some number of pips i get in the point you can say that the price has actually moved some number of pips in the market here so what you must what so what you must do is that you must ensure that you are able to know exactly where the the market has reached and what you are looking for so the pips calculation is very very important you can see everything on the screen yourself you know this is not a, a theory this is practicals you are seeing everything on your screen and you see where the market is going to turn based on this uh, resistance and support levels that we have marked you see the zone that we marked the price actually entered there and the price is being rejected so if you want to enter the market if you want to place a sell you can just go for another sell there since i've seen that it has truly rejected right now it is going to enter into the area i get to the point if it's going up and i see that the, the resistance level there is strong i can still be making a sell in that zone so that is how we make sales as you know that okay the market has rejected and is going down in your direction so you can quickly make a sell uh, because there is a weak rejection at the top there those of you who have read the candlesticks you should be able to understand what this weak rejection here is as it's approaching a major resistance level i get in the point so you will understand exactly what is happening in the market all right so that is how it is that is how it is you need to understand the market from that perspective you need to understand the market from the perspective where um, all the indicators are actually proving themselves so you can uh, obviously uh, make the right decision for yourself are you getting the point yeah it's very very important pips um let me enter the group and teach you one or two things concerning the pips and their calculations i get to point uh -huh. pips and their calculations very very important very very important uh if you want to if you want to actually uh learn about pips you have to come and then get this particular uh one over here i think uh yeah i think i place some things over here that are very very important for you guys uh -huh. and i always tell you that the pip calculation always start from the for euro usd uh, uh five decimal places they start from you start counting one peep from the fourth decimal place and then 10 peeps from the third decimal place 100 peeps from the uh, second decimal place thousand peeps from the first decimal place so that's how it works so if you are to add one peep to this price 1.24683 you just add it to the eight over there that's the fourth decimal place if you have to add 10 pips you add it to the 68 if you have to add 100 pips you add it to the 46 forces so anything in ones it should be added to the fourth decimal anything is tens it should be added to the uh, third decimal place and it continues like that uh, if you want to subtract to you subtract it in that order 
very very simple hydro telephone uh, but if the price you are looking at is a three decimal place price uh, like the jpy pairs then you start from the second decimal three digits then you start from the second decimal place so if it's three digits you start from the second decimal place all right so the, your capital you are using make sure it's it matches with your um uh, your lot size you don't hundred dollars i mean you use between 0 0.01 and 0 0.05 200 dollars 0 0.02 to 0 0.08 or 0 0.10 i get point. that's 200 dollars then it moves in that order i get my point so that you don't you don't blow your account you know that's what you call money management money management i get my point uh -huh. if you're able to do that very well it's easy for you to go so you can see it that is how it is that is how it is you don't really worry when you understand this thing so let me quickly just read through this for you so you understand something uh, okay, let me go to this particular place and then show you what actually I'm talking about. So, I say what you must do on every single trade. You must know the dollar equivalence of your lot size. And I told you, every lot size, you just multiply by 10, you know the dollar equivalence of it. So, if it's 0 0.01, multiply by 10, it's going to give you 0 0.1 dollar, which is what? Which is 10 cents. And so, 0 0.02 is what? 20 cents and all those things 0 0.10 is what one dollar so that's how it is so multiply by 10 give you the dollar equivalent so the dollar equivalence of the lot size times the number of tips you give you the amount you want to gain or lose so every trade you want to enter you must decide that okay i have a hundred dollar account so i want to i want to lose if i want to on this trade i am ready to lose only ten dollars or five dollars so if it's ten dollars then how many lot sizes, what will be the lot size that can give me uh, lot size and the pips that can help me to actually, uh, if the trade should go and hit that level, I'll be able to uh, get. So you need to get the number of pips that will produce that $10 and the lot size, I get the point, uh -huh. and the lot size. So this is the main point now, every single trade you want to enter, you must decide how much you want to risk and how much you want to get from that trade. That gives you the confidence that if the trade hits stop loss, you know how much you are losing, which you prepared for. For example, you want to buy gold, XAUUSD. How much will you risk if the trade goes against you? You can say that for you on your $100 account, you are ready to risk only $10 per that trade. Now, the question is how many pips and lot size when hits will result in a $10? That's the point. So you want to be sure that you are not losing more than the ten dollars when sl is hit that's the essence of doing this simple thing i get it. this is a simple calculation so if you are using a 0.05 lot on your hundred dollar account your 0.05 lot side equals 0.5 dollars which is in the dollar equivalence so 0.5 times p which is the pips i've just used the p to represent pips equal to 10 so now you divide the 0, 10 by 0 0.5, it will give you 20 pips. So these are 20 pips you are going to subtract from your the price at which you enter the market. And then you know the, the price where you are now going to. So if you should use this uh, 1.24683 entry level, then you subtract 20 from 8. You see that it's going to give you 1.24483 stop loss price. That is if you are buying, but if you are selling, you are going to add uh, the 20 to this to get your stop loss because you are selling that you are expecting the price to go so in this case since you are buying if you want to buy gold it means that now your stop loss should be placed below but if you are selling your stop loss is placed above so it means you are going to add it to your entry level that to get a stop loss but to get a take profit when you are buying when you are selling you are um you subtract now listen to these two, two things. When you are buying any currency, this is the thing. To get take profit, add your number of pips to your entry price and then subtract your number of pips from the entry price. That's the first one, buying. When you are selling any currency pair or any asset, you need to subtract 
your number of tips that you want to uh, get highlighted in the web from the entry price to be able to get your take profits highlighted in the web and then you subtract the number of pips you want to lose from the market as well as your um, stop loss that is for a sell a sell I get them. a sell you add your uh, pips to the entry price to get your stop loss but for a buy you subtract your pips to get your stop loss all right i think that is easy to understand so when you use this example here, it's easy. So as you set your stop loss, make sure to set your take profit. Usually three times your amount you are risking. So if the price hits your TP, boom, triple. I hope you get that right. So the, that's what we call the risk to reward, RR, one is to three. So if you are losing, if you want to lose 10, then you should be ready to get 30 as a gain. So risk to reward. So if it hits your take profit, you know that the $10 you are risking now has produced $30 for you. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that is how it is, guys. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. All right, so I'll wait you in another trade. Uh, make sure you make this information very, very, uh, use it very well, and then you trade the market and milk uh, money from the market. Don't forget, it is the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and baptize in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Amen.